so we got a little sidetrack. Yeah, sorry. I knew I I sorry, I had to do I had to get on my Monday.com soapbox. It, it's okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna jump back in here. So we're looking at the timeline down. view charts again. So this is something that is inclusive to the to the the simple plan. Though we will see that it does look a little bit different in the premium version of that plan. So just again, to kind of go back to the premium version, we can see charts and we can see, yeah, so that actually looks quite a bit different. So something that's new to the premium plan is the goals option. So the ability to add a goal in here, we're going to come back to this, but this is kind of that KPI type goal is we're setting goals for the team. You can set them one by one, or you can set them hierarchical. Um, and we'll come back to that in a moment. So the last option here is assignments. I can't load the assignment grid because I don't have anything plugged into it quite yet. But what we're gonna do is the next option here and give me one sec as I click the tab for Copilot and Planner. So we're gonna start talking about how Copilot adds to the new premium planner. I'm gonna create the Copilot. I'm gonna click on the Copilot icon here and it kind of introduces, so, hey, welcome. This is Copilot. This is how it works. And it's going to give me the get started option here. I actually haven't clicked this before. I haven't seen this prompt, so I'm going to click it. So this is just going to show me, hey, it can build a plan for me. It can add tasks. And it's also going to have those kind of contextual prompts for create goals to grow the business, add tasks for users, create buckets for roles and teams. So I'm going to click on build a plan. Uh, for my Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 release. The plan should be an eight week plan with, and I'm hoping that this is gonna work because I'm trying to build a really strong prompt here. This is actually good. You know, watching watching a good prompt in Copilot. We need a goal, we need context, uh, we need a source. The plan should be an eight-week plan with buckets for training and champion enablement for knowledge creation. Anything you want to add to it, Holly? Um no, let's just see. Let's see what we get. So this, I think it's always like sometimes if you don't write the most perfect thing in the first, you see what it gets and then you can set, you know, you can change the expectations. Yep. So it's working on the request right now. So it looks like it's actually going to come through and build me a plan. It's gathering resources. The hamsters are spinning the wheel. Mm hmm. Applying the finishing touches. All right, so it created us a basic plan or so it looks like it did. Your session expired, please refresh. <laughs> so I'm gonna refresh the plan here and we're gonna see okay. if it actually did anything. No. All right, so we're building the plan here. It's creating a co-pilot launch plan over the course of eight weeks. Uh, I gave it a fairly simple prompt here, so we're gonna see what it comes back with. The goals here again is that you wanna you wanna prompt it, but you wanna be specific enough, provide goals, tell it what to do, but not be overly specific that you can fuse co-pilot. Right, right. All right, so we got a plan here. So we're going to take a peek at it just real quick to see what it looks like. And I'm going to expand that window out for the uh, YouTube audience. So we can see that it created us a number of different tasks here. Define the scope of the launch, create a timeline, assign roles. Mm -hmm. uh, and then as we go into the board settings, we can kind of see where it set those buckets up. So it's fairly basic right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Copilot and I'm going to say add a task to draft a status mail. We'll let it add this task. And then we'll prompt it a couple of additional times here. We're gonna create buckets for team roles. Uh, and then finally, because we looked at that goal section is we're gonna create some goals to help grow the business. All right, so we've 
set up a basic plan here again in the premium option. So again, we've kind of got that additional task that we added in. Yeah. We can see that we asked it to add those additional buckets and it did that as well. So we have quite a few buckets there and right. I'm just going to drag some of these tasks around so that we have a little bit more of a visual of what it's going to look yep. like in some of the other areas. So we haven't defined any timelines here yet, but we could, and that would expand this section out. And you know what, maybe that actually makes sense that uh, we add some basic dates and times here. So again, so big, big change here too, is right. the, the task card. Looks dependencies. So we've got dependencies, start, finish dates, durations, completion percentages. Uh, we have options to change to the sprint here. So we only have the backlog option. Yep. Uh, and then we can also add effort to it as well. Now right. I'm not is, a project. Yeah, go ahead, Holly. Well, this is, this is essentially, you know, I think the sort of, you know, the, like, I am not a lawyer tag, you know, like yep. I am not a project manager. So planner, when we worked with the basic thing, I'm not a project manager. This is some of this stuff, some of what we're talking about, effort, percentages complete, task dependencies. If you're not a project manager, this might, this might be overkill for you. You might be like, I don't know what the, any of this means. I'm never going to use it. Yep. I just need basic tasks. A project manager, on the other hand, whenever they're looking at planner, this, what we're seeing on the card, this is the stuff that's missing in their life. They're like, I can't use this tool. It's not complex enough, right? Uh, the other thing, aside from asking if we can have personal plans, are there task dependencies, right? Task dependencies for projects are huge. And whenever I tell people I, I've got them like 85% of the way sold on Planner, the second I tell them that you can't have dependent tasks, they're like, oh, shucks, guess I can't use Planner. So yep. now, again, at the, the premium add-on, Planner becomes very usable. And it's good because, like I said, what your project manager needs and what your project resources are able to comprehend and use, this is a very good, like happy medium workspace. So we're gonna add a goal on here as well. Excellent. Uh, we can see that that's connected. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna close that. And now we will go back over to the timeline view and now we can actually see. So here's the create a timeline as well as the organized launch event. So we can kind of see that again, it's not the best project plan in the world, but it gives you ideas if you're a project manager and checking this out, what you can right. do with these additional tools. So yeah, I, we also sort of added the, the merit of, different... of the that simplicity of planner with the robust yep. things that you need. So we added some additional goals in here as well. So we can see that the ones that Copilot created us, and then we can see that I created kind of like a sub goal under the create intro communication. So yeah. we've got these two pieces tied together now. And then when we come over to the the view assignments, we can see, hey, how many how many are assigned to Scott? How many are assigned to other people on the team? Yep. But you know, again, that kind of gives you the the basic idea of what you can do with Copilot to help kind of save time when working with the new planner. Yeah. Again, this is a private plan, but if I wanted to, I could add this to an existing group, and then I could invite more people to it, uh, or I can create a brand new group to have people kind of onboard into it. And then it creates that larger group with the additional infrastructure out there behind it. Yep.